Hey, hey, welcome back to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. My name is Margaret and I am a reselling homeschooling mom. I sell things I find from thrift stores, garage sales and estate sales at and on eBay, Etsy and other platforms. In today's video, we're going to be talking about things that are selling on eBay right now that are selling fast that you can find to flip. I have learned as I've been making videos like these where I'm starting to pull in a little more of the research that some of you may not have access to Terapeak. Terapeak is a tool on eBay. If you have a, the eBay seller hub where you have one of the eBay stores you pay for, you get access to Terapeak, which is a research tool. So I'm making this video. So say you don't have Terapeak, you're not paying for a store. You can get an idea of some of the things that are selling on eBay for a good profit and that has a high sell through rate because you want to find things that are selling more quickly. I want to preface that with, I don't always go this route where I choose things that sell super fast because sometimes I don't mind waiting for an item to sit longer for a higher profit. But I do want to share this information because I, like you, am trying to do everything I can to increase my profit in 2024 and beyond. And I want us all to be successful. I truly believe that this is something we can all do. We can all be successful at this. And... I thought today's a great day for us to talk about Valentine's because it's February, Valentine's is here. I was initially going to make one video for Valentine's Day, but as I was doing this research, there was so much stuff from Target that was Valentine related that was selling very quickly. And so I decided I'm gonna make two videos back to back, one specifically for Target items, and then the next it will come out tomorrow and it will be other Valentine's Day stuff. The more I was looking over the Target stuff that's been selling really well lately, it kind of made me excited to share with you more because I'm able to explain some different aspects of reselling, especially if you're new and wondering like, why would somebody, sell this, it may not seem like a good profit or there, there's a few different strategies that we're going to be able to talk about as resellers. So this is hopefully will be very beneficial if you're new. As you can see, when I do search for some of the target things that are selling well, one of them are these little fab fabric duos, you know, they're super cute, but as you can see, they only, they're selling new on target for $5. The thing is, is that some of these items, one, either have sold out or two, are not available for delivery, for shipping. And if you don't live near a Target or your Target is sold out and you like really, really want one of these, then some people are willing to pay a little bit more to still get them. So these are the duos. These are some of the ones that we'll talk about here in a second. And as you can see, these were sold in the Target, Bullseye, Playground, or whatever it's called. When you first walk in Target, it's like the dollar spot. And it's things that are $1, $3, $5, and they're pretty cheap, and usually there's fun, festive, you know, seasonal stuff. So when I'm looking at Target, just at this one, the coffee and the donut, it says pickup, delivery. Well, that's great because it's near me. But if you look where it says shipping, not available. So if I didn't live near a Target, I'd be out of luck. This is one of the Target duos from last year, 2023. So each year there is a new set, just like with the little birds, they're called Featherly Friends or something like that. They have those for Christmas and Valentine's and some of them are very collectible. So this person probably bought, either bought them when they were $5 new and then stockpiled them or waited till they were on clearance and bought them for even cheaper and just bought them out. And as you can see right here, it says out of stock 11 sold and they sold them at $10 a piece. So the reason that somebody might do something like this, as we said, maybe they don't have a target near them or they're sold out or they really want peanut butter and jelly because that's their booze thing, right? They're the peanut butter to my jelly or what have you. Being a reseller, I wouldn't necessarily buy one $5 item to sell for $10 because that doesn't make a lot of sense. But when you're looking at a bulk purchase and you buy 10 or 11 of these $5 items, you only have to make one listing. And then that, as you can see, they can, they can put quantity 11 and they can 
make that price ten dollars twelve dollars whatever as the supply as the demand demand rises then they can increase that price if they want to so they're only having to do the work once and make the five dollar profit okay i know there's fees and whatnot don't you know split hairs with me but they can make that profit over and over and over again and it's a lot easier, especially with something like this that's super easy to ship. So here you can see the peanut butter and jelly. This is from 2023. It has a 47% sell-through rate at an average sold price of $11.35. And if you don't have Terra Peak, then this is what it looks like as you're looking down it. You can see the different prices people have sold it at. And when you see here total sold, that lets me know that that seller had two that were or sold to from however many they had listed and generally most of them looks like charged shipping on these as well there are a couple that you see that had zero ship zero dollars for shipping they did free shipping but they were the ones that had the prices a little bit higher this is one from 2024 it's the coffee and the donut super cute again three available one sold again we don't know what this person paid for these whether they got them for their you know five dollars and then are selling them for ten dollars now also if you do shop at target sometimes they have these target deals where you buy certain items and then you get like a target store credit card for a certain amount of money that's another way to go about this if, if you're getting store credit based on whatever purchasing deal that they've got going on at the time and sometimes they'll have coupons or if you have the target red card or there's always ways to save a little bit more money on your inventory and this coffee and donuts the sell-through rate here is 54 percent and then the average sold price is 1260. and i just wanted to point out again here you can see where they have quantity one more than 10 available five sold this is from 2023, the bacon and eggs. Another example of where you can see that they had a multiple quantities of that. And the bacon and eggs from last year, 66% sell through rate, average sold price, $10. You can see here, this person has sold nine of those. Not all of the things from Target today I'm going to talk about are from that bullseye area in the front with the three, five, $10 items. But there are a lot of things that can sell really well from there. So it's worth checking out. When I did a search on Terra Peak for Valentine's Day Target Bullseye 2024, just for this year's items, I did this so I could get a feel for what I'm seeing repeating. So 42% sell through rate, $14 average sold price. And again, that's why like, if you're looking at that, like, well, that's not a whole lot. There are ways to bring the profit up when you're selling in multiple quantities or getting deals or finding them on clearance after uh, the holidays and either saving them or sometimes people still want those things after Valentine's Day, they'll see somebody with it and they'll, oh, I really like that, I wanna get one of those. The next things that I'm seeing when I just did a search for the Target Bullseye Playground were these Valentine's Dice Pillows. There was a novelty jar with the lips. That one didn't have the best sell-through rate, but that, Pillow with the dice, I did notice. They had three different ones for sale this year. They're probably still for sale now. And so if you got the lot of them, this person is selling them for $30 for all three. But say you just have the dice. And it's showing here that the sell through rate on the dice pillow is 54% with a $17 average sold price. There is also the disco ball, which I personally like. There were, it has a 50% sell through rate with $22.91. The other pillow that was being sold also 30% sell through rate, $20 average sell through price was the lips. This one isn't selling for quite as much. Next up is this Valentine's Day pink French bulldog. Again, you can see that they have multiple available ones sold. And this one has a 46% sell through rate with $22.50 as the average sold price. I am guessing that on some of these, that sell through rate's gonna start ticking up the closer we get to Valentine's Day, because this is pretty adorable. These, I'm not sure if this is from this year or last year, so the Valentine's Day XO throw pillow around $24. And this item has a 78% sell-through rate at a $24 average sold price. 
So what I'm seeing here, I'm trying to see if it shows what year that is. Yeah, 2024. So you might still be able to find this at your target if you have one near you. It's worth checking out because at a 78% sell through rate, 25 bucks about. And the way I do things, I've, I've done this frequently with Lego. When I see a Lego set coming out that I know has a high collector base. I do buy a lot of them at the given price. I did this with a Doctor Who Lego. I I bought a lot of them and they were about $60 when I bought them new, but as they become more scarce and I have my one listing with my multiple available, when I start seeing those selling more frequently, I know that suddenly I'm the lowest priced one. So I can go in and change that price to make it a little more expensive. So yeah, I've sold some, made some profit, and then I take that price up so that I wait for that next price point to hit and I can start selling some there and then I bump it to the next price point and, and so on. So same thing goes for this, where you can put it at whatever price point you want a little bit higher. I tend to do a little bit higher. And then when that hits, you can assess like, do I want to raise my price or liquidate my inventory at this price? Do we dare talk about the Stanley mug? I mean, this is not the one that everyone went bananas over, but there's a red Stanley mug. There's a darker pink one. Apparently these are hot commodities, but I, I did pull it up just because, because there's different Stanley cups, but I want to caution you, as you can see, high sell through rate, high average sold price, but look at these policy violations. So either people are listing ones that are shady or people are selling them and then their buyers are saying, oh, this isn't a real one or who knows. I mean, to me, like, great, it's a hot commodity. Maybe I would sell it locally, but with something that's like this, that probably has got a lot of easy, I mean, I don't like to scream scammers, but probably a lot of stuff like that going on right now because they know it's a hot commodity. I might hold off on something like that or do a local sale. Next up are these Target Valentine's Day pink plastic heart flutes for obviously Valentine's Day or weddings or what have you. Uh, again, they had 10 sold, seven still available. These were ones that you would find when you walk into that. I always wanna call it the dollar spot, but it's called Bullseye's Playground. I have to correct myself. And it has a 90% sell through rate. Average sold price at $7.92. So this is where you have to say, okay, look, over here, 31 sold. So you know they bought them out of those or as much as they could, bought a bunch. Maybe they were $3. Maybe they were $1. I don't even know how much those were. Usually they're either one, three, five, or 10, generally are the prices of things there. And then they just make one listing and then they, they send them out one after another after another and that profit starts to grow. So that is one way to do that. And right now there aren't any up for sale at Target. I don't know if they were from this year, last year. Let's see. Oh, no, this is, oh, this is this year. Okay, so again, here's somebody sold for $12.99. Once they become a hot commodity, that's something, go check your Target. <laughs> Bullseye. If it wasn't like 10 feet of snow out there today, I might be heading to Target right now. I exaggerate. There's quite a lot of snow though. It's like, this is like really all, I mean, that's a lot of snow y'all. For this little Texas girl, here I'm gonna show you. Aside, we're having an aside moment. That's my little table out there. That's my little table on my patio. That's a lot of snow. That doesn't scream Valentine's Day to me. Next item, this is also a 2024. This is an Eiffel Tower decor. Eiffel in love with you. So sweet. So they have sold 15 of these little things and there's two available left. So the sell through rate on these little Eiffel Towers, 46% sell through rate, average sold price of $15. This thing is probably one of these numbers and it was probably one of the $3 pieces, $5 maybe, because normally they don't, little things like that don't cost that much. <laughs> At the taller dark target dollar spot, bullseye's playground. I think, I wish it wasn't snowing. I'd go over there. These are from 2024 too. So we're looking at some retro looking little love birds. These little love birds, ceramic love birds set, 42% sell through rate, $18. And again, I'm trying to get those 50% or higher. The reason I went ahead and included those here is because I do have a feeling that as we get closer to 
Valentine's Day, you're gonna see those tick up. And then these little poodle sets, these you buy them individually. I checked that on Target. So you buy the pink one, you buy the white one, but they are being sold as a pair. And the pair of them is 30% sell through rate. I'm wondering if it's just, if I do like the pink poodle, if we just do a poodle, let's check that out. If it's just one of them, 31% sell through rate. And what if I just want the pink one? Let's type in pink poodle. It looks like most people are selling them as a, as a set. So something to consider. Then there's also this little pink and white house, 88% sell through rate with a $12 average sold price. This is again, one of those times where you're gonna wanna have multiples. So maybe this was a $3 item, a $5 item, and you buy 10 of them, one listing, and so it goes. Isn't it cute? It's adorable. And then this is in the clothing section. This is a women's heart Valentine like cardigan sweater. And this one has a 66% sell through rate. So it's really hot right now, 40, $48 average sold price. And this person left the tag so you could see that it was about $30 new and then selling it at $48. So again, if you're having multiple sold, and this is one of those times when after the fact, when they're not available anymore, that's when that supply and demand starts kicking in and those prices can start ratcheting up. Make sure you check out the video for tomorrow for other Valentine's items that are selling right now with a really high sell through rate. We're gonna look at the research. We're gonna look at what you can do to find these items. And maybe you've already got some in your stash. And if you don't already have a Valentine, then I hope you will be my Valentine. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.